All right, we're going to install two things to do this. One is Mictex. So search Mictex and we'll go to the home page and we'll go to download and I'm not going to install the basic one. I'm going to install the net installer um, for 64 bits. I'd recommend getting the full version, not the basic version. It's, it takes quite a bit longer, but it's worth it. And then we're also going to get TextMaker. Now, TextMaker is the IDE. So we're going to get the latest version for Windows. And just click the installer. So TextMaker is the editor, whereas Mictex is the compiler. It's what creates the program. You need both. Okay, so both after those both finish installing, we're going to install Mictex. So we're going to download it as well. And we're going to get the complete version. And we're going to pick our download source, which in this case is Canada. And select where you're going to save it to. I just went over that real quick, but make sure you know where you saved it. And after that installs, which will take a while, it'll take over an hour, if you look at the timestamp in the bottom right. But after that finishes is installing, find the location you saved it at. I moved it to the desktop just to be easy here. And then click Setup from that folder. And accept the conditions. And we're going to do the complete one. We're going to install it for everybody. All the defaults are fine. You can select your preferred paper if you want. I don't think it actually works, but that's neither here nor there. Okay, and that's going to take a while to install as well, but once that finishes, that means you've successfully set up Mictex, which means you can actually create LaTeX documents. So to test that out, open up command and type PDF LaTeX. And you can see it knows the command, so that means it's successfully installed. So I won't bother running it, but you can see it's installed correctly. Now we're going to install TextMaker, which in my opinion is the best editor. It, it's really clear and you can see your output and input right next to each other. So after that's installed, just find TextMaker. Where is it? There it is. And we're just going to create a new document. And we're just going to do a simple hello world. So the document class is going to be an article. And we're just going to begin the document. And to end the document. And there's just going to be some basic content. So hello world. And we're just going to save that in my documents as hello world.txt. Okay, and now you can build that by clicking that arrow, and you can see the output right there. So it's actually created our PDF document. So if we go back to my documents, there should be hello world.pdf, and there it is, and let's open it up and have a look. And sure enough, there's your output, so that's how you do that.